In this session, I will show you how to import files from one Zoho CRM system to another and also how to restore a Zoho CRM backup, including the attachments. Let's begin. First of all, you will need to click here on the settings icon and then you will scroll down and you will click on import. In my case, I will go with Zoho CRM because my backup is from Zoho CRM, but I can tell you that you can go with any other option. If you are restoring files from a different CRM that is not listed here, you would go with the other CRM option. Okay? And we can, we can continue with it. Most of them are identical. Zoho will grab your files, your backup files, and will try to match it with what Zo is. And if Zo doesn't know how to do it, you will need to match it yourself. And I will show you how to do it. It's very, very simple. So first of all, I will go to my folder. I created here a backup that I, I have from Zo, and those will be my attachments. I will drag and drop my attachments in a zip file exactly how you got it from Zoho. When you back up the files from Zoho, let me just show you how it works. When you back up the files, you are getting one data zip file and one attachment zip file, or maybe multiple zip files. But the idea is, is that you grab both data and attachments. So in my case, I will go back to the import and I will click here on view status because I already started the import process. You see the attachments are still here and I will have now my data. I will extract the data because I need the data, uh, the CSV files. I don't need the, the zip file. So let me just extract it. And now you can see that I'm getting two files. One is the uh, record images and the other one is the data. I will grab the data and I will select all the CSV files and I will drag and drop them into the restore, the import area. Once Zo will do its magic and everything will get imported, I will click on next. And what Zo is doing now, which is very interesting, it's matching all the different files together. If you think about it, let's assume that you have your leads module. The leads module sounds easy, it's just a CSV, but it's not. Because every lead, every record will have a lead owner, which means it's supposed to be connected to your user's module. And sometimes you have, for example, a contact. A contact will have multiple opportunities or deals and maybe tasks or events. So Zo basically grab all this information, connects it together and start to build the linkage between those items. Now, you can see here that I have here all the mapped files and some of them it's, it's a clear cut that Zoho knows how to connect them because the name of the module is identical. When you will see a star on the imported module, that means that Zoho is suggesting that this is the right option. This is the right connection between your CSV file and the module on your CRM. I wouldn't take it for granted that this linkage is the right one. I would click on the link and I will see a sample from the link. Now, I will see if it's a cold call ID, cold call name. It looks like a cold calls module. And I see also the name of the module is cold calls. So that's probably correct. And I probably will do it for the rest of them. Now, you will see all the map files, which means the ones that Zo was able to map correctly, and you will see a few more that Zo did not map. Now, don't get excited about the unmapped files. 
if you are not able to find the right module for it. There is a good chance that those modules does not exist anymore on the system. I will see here, for example, a backup from campaigns 001, which means this is the campaigns module. If I will go to my settings and then I will go to modules and fields and then I will go to organize module, thank you, you will see that the modules with the select box, meaning that those are active on my system, but there will be some of them that are not active on my system, which means I deleted them and they will be here. Now you see here that I have the campaigns module, but I cannot find it on my backup. And the reason is I will see all the modules that are active on my system. The ones that are not active will not be on the import process. So this is why those will be orphan CSVs and that's fine. Now, uh, one more important thing. You will see here that you have an attachments here, an attachments file, and it looks awkward. It doesn't make too much sense, but this file is not for you. This file will connect the different attachments on Zo with the attachments zip file that we uploaded. And that's the only reason why you have this this uh, CSV in your system. Let's click next and now you will see that Zo will provide me all the modules on the left side and on the right side the mapping. Now I have here the accounts module. It's supposed to hold all my accounts. On the left side you will see the fields that exists on the CSV file that we imported. On the right side, you will see the fields that exist on Zo CRM. And the idea is to match between them. Let's assume that on your CSV file, it will not say account name. It will say account. You're supposed to know, because this is your data, you're supposed to know that account is supposed to be connected to account name. Now, many people are using external companies to do their migration. Now, this is a bit awkward because when you are moving, let's say, from Salesforce to Zo, which is very common these days, you will see that the files from Salesforce will not all the same information like your Zo CRM, which means if you bring someone like myself or someone else to help you with this import, you will see that we will not know what to do because we don't know your structure and how the data is constructed because the names will be different. You're supposed to be the one who is doing the mapping and this is most of the work when you import something. Now, when you reach this step, there is a magic button here named auto map and the auto map uh, I, I advise you to always click it because once you click on it, it's doing the magic and just doing everything for you. Now, 99% it will do an amazing job. So Zo did an amazing job here. Sometimes, 1% of the time, you will see that it's not linking it correctly. So you will go here and you will make the fixes. Okay? In this case, it's perfect. I will click save and next and then it will take me to the next one. That will be the assets investments. I will click on auto map and now it's mapped again. Okay. Now you will see here that you have also some more unmapped fields and you can go ahead and you can try to map them. In some cases, you will not be able to find a good match. In some cases you will. Okay. Remember that the information that you're getting, the, the data that you're getting from your CSV will hold everything, deleted fields, so everything will be there. In this case, when you have the fields in Zo CRM, it will show you only the active fields. 
not the deleted and unused ones. Okay, so it's important to understand it. Okay, let's continue. Let's assume that I continue to click all the way and here I got a, a small error. Let's see what is the error. Usually when you click here, Zoe will tell you that the calls ID, the calls name. Let's see. So let's click on auto map and let's see if it fixed the problem. It didn't fix it. Let's go to the unmap files and I need the call ID. And you see, Zoe did not get it. So I will map the ID, I will map the name. Anyway, you're supposed to go over it in case that Zoe is not able to map it correctly for you. While I'm clicking around, I will tell you a small joke. There was a conference and the teacher is asking the, the students uh, who has relationship with his wife once a day. And a few people raise their hands and everybody look at them jealous. Very nice. And then he's asking who has relationship once a week. And a few people raise their hands. And then he's asking who has relationship once a month. A few people ashamed, raising their hands. And then he's saying who has relationship once a year. And someone is raising his hand, me, 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 me. And he said, why are you so excited? Today is the day, today is the day. So just small joke. Someone told me that I need to be more funny in my videos. So. Trying, I'm trying. Okay, we're almost done, almost done. You know what? I will not bore you to death. So while I'm clicking around, I will just... Um, I will just pause the video and I will resume when I finish this part. Okay, so the process is done. I have here all the different modules connected to my CSVs and now I will click on start migrating. The migration process takes, depending on your data, but usually it will take a few minutes. And while it's working, you will see here some records. Now, 99% of the time, you will not get it right the first time. So just, just be ready for it. Importing data takes time. While it's, it's importing the data, you will see here that you have skipped area. And the skipped will tell you which records did not get imported properly into your system. So it's important. Whenever you have a problem, you will see it here and when you click you get more information and you know exactly why the migration failed. So it's important. Now, I always recommend people call Zoho and they can guide you during the migration. You're supposed to know what I just showed you. You don't want to waste five hours with Zoho on the line. But if you're stuck, you can always give them a call and they will support you. If I will go now to the import area, you will see that I will have an import history section. If, for example, you had an import and the import was not successful, you can click beside the import and you will have an undo import button. Click on the undo import and the migration will disappear. So all the data that was inserted into your database will be gone after a few minutes. So just know that whenever you do the migration, the first few migrations will fail and that's fine. Everybody suffer from the same problem and that's right for any system, Salesforce, Zoho, whatever. But as you go and you change your CSV and you make improvement to your import process by mapping different fields, by changing uh, some data in your CSV and as you improve it, eventually you will have zero skipped and all the records will be added to your system properly. So I hope I was able to give you some value. I know that when I was importing data, it was very painful, but I hope I was able to reduce some of the pain from you. If you did not take my course yet, the description below will have a link to the course with a $25 off coupon. I welcome you to take the course. 
Until now, it's a five stars course with hundreds and hundreds of people that already took it. Thank you very much for watching this session. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you want to get more, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next session.